Welcome to tutorial 5, Import Initial Shapes. In the last four tutorials we have been talking about shapes already quite a, a few times, but we never really explained the terminology or the underlying concept of it, so let's do that right now. I have created a little scheme where we talk about shapes and models. Now City Engine is a procedural modeling application, so the goal of City Engine is to create 3D model. This is the final output and the result, so basically the goal of the work with City Engine. Now in this process of the procedural modeling, City Engine needs two things. On the one hand side it needs an input geometry, so that can be a building footprint or a parcel shape, and a few other things, so these can be attributes or the rule file itself, which defines the, the modeling procedure, and optionally also some assets like window assets or door textures or facade images in as both 3D files or just image files. Again, after the modeling generation process, the resulting geometry is the, is the final result. Now we see that we start here within the scheme a little bit before, so there is an import of any file. Now you see a distinction here between a file, so for example these file formats here are supported to import shapes as such an input geometry for the modeling process. Now you see there's a second route here which other file formats like Collada, OBJ and KML files are going that way and this is the import as a static model. So a static model is basically already a 3D model which has been finalized before but for example landmark buildings like um, the Eiffel Tower or a specific bridge could be loaded in already as a final 3D model just for the reference or the visual refer reference of the model itself. But we are talking now in this tutorial about this process where a file is imported into the city engine scene as a shape for the target of the um, model generation within city engine. In this scheme we are talking about the shape creation. Now we see there is a main distinction between the static side, the upper side, and the dynamic side the lower side. Now, in one of the tutorials before, we have already been talking about this side, which is basically the dynamic city layouts system. So there's, for example, the manual graph segment creation, where you draw streets manually or have them grown with the grow streets algorithm. Or you just import streets from, uh, from external files. Now these, obviously, create streets and blocks and thus um, the shapes which are called the dynamic shapes. Now let's go to the upper side. Uh, here again we have a similar system or a similar um, methodology. So shapes can either be created manually, uh, for this we have specific tools, or they can again be imported from different file formats. Now we see they come together here in, this, in the scheme as manually drawn shapes or imported shapes or imported markers which are, are just basically um, point features or point markers which are ultimately also shapes. Now this is the static shape side and they all come together, the dynamic shapes and the static shapes as basically just uh, the definition or the terminology of a shape. Back in City Engine, we now can go ahead and import some shapes as a training series. So let's go ahead and import, for example, this footprints.gdb. So that's a geo referenced data set. So let me just finish and then accept the projection. And here are the footprints. Now I'm de deleting the layer and I'm going to import the shape file here which 
chooses the same projections so I can just drag and drop them into here and you see that they are actually placed in the same spot. Now for the next data set I'm going to create or reopen my new scene here and let's look at this specific case. So we have an OBJ file here. So here I'm not going to drag and drop this into the viewport but I'm right clicking on it and then go to import and that opens the OBJ import um, dialog. Now in here we see one very important setting which is this setting here, the import as static model setting and this is, let me go quickly back to the scheme this um, this route here. So this little checkbox which we have uh, just seen on the importer, this guy here defines which route we want to get to go either as a shape, the import as a shape or the import as a static model. Now if it is a model as in the case of an OBJ file here um, the default behavior is import as static model but in this specific case since it's an uh, import shape tutorial I don't want to do that and uh, let me just cancel out drag and dropping this will automatically import it as um, a static model but I don't want to do this so I'm going to uncheck here and continue now as you see here static shapes don't have to be um, just two-dimensional but they really can also be 3D volumes such as this example building here obviously you can go in and again assign rules which take apart for example this this building volume create facade on the on the vertical um, sides and on the roof trigger the rule for the creation of some roofs and so on and so on Now let's go ahead, quickly delete this layer here and open the Collada folder which we have here. Now I'm going to right mouse click again on the Collada file and uh, deactivate import as static model option and hit finish. Now we see that um, this specific static shape which has, cr has been created um, is textured so City Engine also supports textured static models. That was it for this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next tutorial.